Yes, my dear students of 10th standard, I welcome you all in the name of Almighty Father to continue to learn furthermore in the carbon and its compound. Already we have started, we have to read, learn the next topic in this carbon and its compound. And before that we have to recall what we have learned in the previous session. We know the symbol of carbon is C, atomic number 6, mass number 12. The position of carbon in the periodic table is 14th group, 14th group, second period, carbon is located. What is the electronic configuration? Atomic number 6, atomic number 6. So there are 6 protons and 6 electrons. So configuration 2 comma 4, 2 comma 4. So carbon always combine with the other element using covalent bonding because there are 4 electrons in the outermost cell. So carbon cannot donate or gain. So in such a situation, carbon is ready to share the electron between the combining atom because of this unique nature of carbon. So many properties like catenation, tetravalency and multiple bonding enable the carbon combine with itself or other elements like hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur and hence form large number of compounds. Also we learn carbon is a very very important and play a very important role on the living being. That's why carbon chemistry is called living chemistry. So without carbon there is no possibility of life on this earth. Then already we learn the classification of organic compound based on the pattern of carbon chain based on pattern that is the chemist used this method to classify the organic compounds using the structural pattern that is open chain compound and closed chain compound open chain compound further classified into saturated compound and unsaturated compound then Closed chain compound further classified into carbocyclic compound and heterocyclic compound. Then carbocyclic further classified into alicyclic and aromatic. Up to this classification of organic compounds already we learn. Now we are moving to next topic. Next topic 11.3. Classes of organic compound based on the kind of atoms. See, not only carbon combine with the carbon to form varying length and shapes of organic compounds. Carbon also having the ability, having the tendency to combine with the hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and form a covalent bonding to give different classes of organic compounds. So you listen, I read, other than carbon, organic compounds contain atoms like hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, etc. bonded to the carbon. Combination of these kinds of atoms with carbon gives different classes of organic compounds. So the combination of carbon with the other element, other atom, give different kinds of organic compounds. So in this uh, section we are going to discuss the various classes of organic compounds. First one see simple topic, hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon is nothing but organic compounds contain only carbon and hydrogen. The organic compounds 
that are composed of only carbon and hydrogen atoms are called hydrocarbon from the name itself you can understand hydrocarbon hydro this hydrogen carbon carbon so there is a two term in the hydrocarbon hydrogen carbon so the compounds containing hydrogen and carbon atom are called hydrocarbon now see these carbon atom join together to form the framework the basic structure of the compound and this basic structure is called parent organic compound so this carbon atom join together to form this skeleton the basic structure that is called the parent organic compound then from this only many compounds can be derived derived by replacing one or more hydrogen atom and instead of the hydrogen substituting the other elements alkyl group we will get different kinds of various number of organic compounds by replacing one or more hydrogen from this parent hydrocarbon from this parent hydrocarbon so what is hydrocarbon compounds contain only carbon and hydrogen as main element so those compounds are called hydrocarbon then the first one see alkane so all this already we learn in ninth standard so you have to recall recapture what we have learned in the previous uh, lower class ninth standard so same thing so it is very easy for you see alkenes and uh, there are uh, three organic classification given in this uh, uh, topic alkene alkene alkyne so alkene that alkene end with a n e a l k a n e end with a n e alkene and what is the importance of this alkene the compounds under this family possess only single covalent bond between the combining carbon atom so between combining the carbon atom there is single covalent bond what is the meaning of single covalent bond that is the combining atoms share one pair of electron the combining atom share two electron between them two electron between them it is called single covalent so what is the general formula of this alkene cn h2n plus 2 cn h2n plus 2 c means carbon h means hydrogen now what is the meaning of n the n going to define the number of atoms number of atoms n may be 1 2 3 so when we going to substitute the value instead of n if we put 1 we will get the the first basic compound under this alkene suppose c 1 h 2 into 1 plus 2 means we will get the the simplest compound the first compound methane ch4 ch4 then substitute suppose if you going to substitute instead of n if you put 2 c2 h 2 into 2 plus 2 what will get c2 h6 c2 h6 that is ethane if we put 3 c3 h2 into 3 plus 2 h2 into uh, 3 plus 2 what you will get c c3 c3 h8 c3 h8 propane so ch4 methane then c2 h6 ethane c3 h8 propane likewise uh, if you going to put if you going to give a number to the n n we will get various number of uh, saturated hydrocarbons under this alkene family 
So this is the way to derive. See the tabular column it is given. See methane CH4, ethane C2H6, propane C3H8, butane C4H10, pentane C5H12. See the number of carbon only going to give the basic uh, name uh, nomenclature for this compound. If uh, compound contain only one carbon, that is going to be methane, meth, two carbon, that is going to be ethane, eth, eth, three carbon means propane, prop, four carbon means that is butane, but, five carbon means pentane, pen. So, using this uh, basic uh, nomenclature pattern, we are deriving the name of this hydrocarbon. Next we see alkene. So these compounds are end with the name E and E. The suffix is going to be E and E. Alkene E and E. All these compounds end with the E and E. Like ethene, propane, butene, pentene. And what is the importance of this uh, uh, alkene family? These compounds contain uh, double bond this compound contain double bond between the combining carbon atom C double bond C C is equal to C it is given like that uh, that is not equal to the meaning is double bond if suppose only one line one dash is given that is single bond that is the meaning one pair of electron two electrons are shared between the combining atom c double lines are given c double line that is the meaning of double bond that meaning two pairs of electron two pairs two pairs means four electron four electrons are shared between the combining carbon atoms that is called a double bond so these compounds are having double bond between the combining atoms and they are unsaturated compounds and what is the general formula of this alkene CnH2n CnH2n C means carbon H means hydrogen and in the place of N you can put number 2, 3, 4 like this to attain the basic hydrocarbon under this alkene family Suppose if we put uh, uh, 2, what will you get? C2H2 into 2, C2H4. C2H4, it is called ethylene or ethene. Ethene. Also, you can see the tabular column. Then if you put 3, if you put 3, you will get uh, propene C3H6. If you put the N value, 4 means you get butene C4H8. The N value 5 means C5H10 pentene. Pentene. So similarly next to see hexene, heptene like that the compounds are derived. So the basic general formula is CNH2N. N value changes different kinds of compounds can be derived. Then, next one, see, alkyne. So, these compounds are end with the suffix y-n-e. Alkyne. y-n-e. Suffix is going to be y-n-e. Alkyne. What is the peculiar property of the compounds under this family? That these compounds possess a triple bond between the combining carbon. Triple bond. C, triple bond. C, three lines three dash we have to put c three dash c three dash means three pairs of electron six electrons are shared between the combining carbon atom so when three pairs or six electrons are shared it is called a triple covalent bond triple covalent bond so triple covalent bonds are 
form but even the combining hydrocarbon to give the compounds alkyne and they are also unsaturated contain triple bond between carbon atom the basic general formula is cn h2n minus 2 cn h2n minus 2 when you're going to give the value we put values n value is uh, 2 means c2 h2 into 2 minus 2 so what you'll get c2 h2 into 2 h4 minus 2 then c2 h2 will come that is the basic uh, simplest alkyne under this family that is called uh, acetylene that is called uh, acetylene and uh, IUPAC name is that is ethyne c2h2 ethyne now so whenever uh, if we change the uh, n value 3 4 we will get the different compounds like see when n value 3 means pro propyne 4 means but butyne 5 means pen pentyne then hexyne heptyne so these compounds are end with the suffix yne what is the basic formula cn h2n minus 2 cn h2n minus 2 then next to see what are the characters of hydrocarbon these uh, hydrocarbons the lower hydrocarbons are gases at the room temperature the basic hydrocarbons under these families methane, ethane are gases, gaseous state. Then they have no color, no order. There is no color, no order. The boiling point of hydrocarbon increases and the number of carbon atom increase. When we increase the N value 3, 4, 5, the carbon atom increase. So their boiling point also increase. Then they undergo combustion. This, these hydrocarbons readily burn in presence of oxygen to give water, carbon dioxide, the enormous amount of heat energy is evolved. Then alkenes are least reactive when compared to other hydrocarbons. So alkenes, that is a general formula CNH2N plus 2, CNH2N methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, they are all alkene, they are all least reactive, very less reactive hydrocarbon compared to alkene and alkyne. Then alkenes are the most reactive. So alkene are least reactive, alkenes are most reactive. Then Alkenes are saturated, but the other alkene and alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbon. So alkenes contain single bond. Alkene and alkenes contain double bond and triple bond between the combining carbon atom. And these compounds are insoluble in water. These compounds insoluble. They are soluble only in the organic solvents. Then how to identify the saturated and saturated this is uh, this will be some time asked uh, will you test will you identify the saturated from unsaturated this is a simple test that is called a bromine test bromine test so we have to take the given sample solution in a test tube and add a few bromine water and we have to check what is the color change take place suppose the given compound is unsaturated given compound is unsaturated decolorization will take place decolorization mean color will be changed color will be changed that means color to colorless suppose it is a saturated compound there will be no change for example alkane will not give any change will not change the color of bromine water so alkane does not react with the bromine water and does not decolorize bromine water but alkene alkyne 
alkyl alkyl react with the bromine water and decolorize the bromine water change the color color to colorless will be formed this is a simple test i will you identify the saturated and saturated saturated compounds does not decolorize bromine water and saturated compounds like here alkene alkyne decolorize bromine water this is the bromine test this is the bromine test addition of bromine water to alkene and alkene this is a test to identify unsaturated compounds from saturated compound and saturated compounds from saturated compounds then that is uh, the next topic that is a classification of organic compound based on functional group that we will study in next class so we have to revise what we have learned to see in this class only simple topic we will learn because all these topics so this topic also already we will learn and we revise in the ninth standard that is hydrocarbon carbon contain only uh, the compounds contain only carbon and hydrogen atom hydrocarbon and under this there are the three important families alkene alkene alkyne alkene general formula cn h2 n plus 2 alkene cn h2 n and alkyne cn h2 n minus 2 and if you give the value for n you will get different compounds that is under the alkene methane ethene propane butene pentane alkene ethene propane butene pentane alkyne ethene propane butene pentane then the uh, common properties the lower hydrocarbons are gases no color no odor and carbon atom increase boiling point also increase they are ready to burn in presence of oxygen and uh, alkene are least reactive alkenes are highly reactive and uh, alkene is saturated alkene and alkenes are unsaturated these compounds will not uh, dissolve in water i will you test there is a simple test the bromine test bromine test can help us to identify saturated from unsaturated because saturated compound does not decolorize bromine water and saturated compounds like alkene alkene decolorize bromine water this is the test to identify saturated and saturated compound so my dear student go through after this learn thoroughly don't waste the time don't waste the time and complete your class work after finish up to types of chemical reaction also side by side learn the lesson types of chemical reaction for the test and this organic compound carbon compound also very important lesson and go through write and practice all these structures and formulas thank you wish you all the best god bless you